get smudges on the pages. Oh, she's adorable. Ah, oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, wait, that's her. Of course. Hey, a different screenshot. Or different art. Why is it snowing inside? Or it's really dusty. Either way, I'm very confused. Jerry opens the book with both hands. Should we go back to the uh, narrator voice? She holds it so I don't have any harder time. Any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Yep. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips, as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Oh my gosh, she actually has a chocolate on her lips! <laughs> That's awesome. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Nyah! Uh, um... Big Papa? S sorry I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well... Y you were just helping. That's something that... Friends do. Right? I mean, not really in this context, but... Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. This is getting weird. Like eating Pocky? Like, yes! Pocky is delicious. Dang, now I want some Pocky. If there's anyone I can relate to this game, it's Sayori. <laughs> yeah, snack queen. That's what, uh, Sayori is. I really like Sayori. I like Sayori and Yuri. I would like to get to know Monica more, but she's, like, never in the picture, and I can't ever make a poem with her, so I don't know what that deal is. Natsuki is... way too high... high... something... energy and crazy. Just... Chill out. That's what she gives me, feeling. Just... Dang! Alright, I'm gonna go over there. That's the feeling I get from Natsuki. Uh, I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by, by, her, by her exertion that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. That's how it works. I raise my arm. Ah. Like before, Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. <laughs> I love that he just, they drew the chocolate piece that cracks me up. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Ah, God, hello? Interruption time. Holy crap, just BAM, just pops in, and the music stopped and everything, jeez! There's some stuff that Yuri likes that I like too, so mixed between Sayori and Yuri. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. Okay, everyone! Uh, yeah, that was my reaction, exactly. <sighs> Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems! Big Papa, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Just let me sit down here for the next 15 minutes. Uh, something came up. <coughs> okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll... I'll take care of the cups. It, yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Really like the music.
Seriously, the music in this game is banging, man. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Right? She just popped in there like crazy. All right, what do we got? Uh, I'm worried about Sayori, so let's talk with her. It's nice, I guess. Come on. All right, this is me. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Oh, don't say that. You're a lucky time. <laughs> You're in luck away and with Sarah I coming in with the treaties. Them. Yeah, I think Monica's getting jealous. She take up for the treaties because she popped. One, she wanted to stop us from getting the tea stuff together earlier. And that time, that was weird. She just popped in out of nowhere. I'm gonna keep those up there for now. How you doing, Sarah? Welcome to the stream, my friend. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Oh, that hurts my heart, Sayori. Ah! Sayori! I don't like this game anymore. Probably Yuri. Er. Probably Yuri. I forgot her voice already. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. I'm making new friends just like I was hoping. Oh crap. It makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Big Papa. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Hehe. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? I'm not gonna promise that. She's lying, she isn't happy, I can see her face, right? You can go. You can go play with everyone else now. I kind of want to hang out with you, Sayori. Damn it! I can't choose that. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a bit early today. Mmm. Sayori. Tell Monica I was I feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I could say anything else, Yuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Can I just go hang out with Sayori today? I'm worried about her. Mm, Yuri! Let's uh, not talk about the elephant in the room here. Big Papa, your writing has only improved in the last few days. Every poem you've shown me has become nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me th this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. I is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling... I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought I would feel this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. Oh no. Yeah, see, it was the same song, and they just slowed it down. It's so good. Big Papa, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Yeah, I figured that out like three days ago. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing, inspiring people. 
people you were to fall in love with, or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. That's nice. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And... And they don't hate me for acting like I know it all. People... Say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Big Papa. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. Aw, she's opening up. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. Normal's overrated. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. And all I can do with them is read. I'm right. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. That I really understand what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a diff difficult person, Big Papa. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time... You've always treated me like anyone else. It's so weird that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. Aww. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say that I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? If you put it that way. Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. Aw. But this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Same, Yuri, same. <laughs> yeah. I do. Let me get it for you. Poem. Okay, it's not that long. Fly. Yeah, you better fuck off. Beach! Urgh. Ah! I missed. Alright. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making. When the, where the womb of the earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss. But beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, the breeze is gentle yet powerful. I seek my toes in the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foaming tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore, but forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. I do not understand any of that symbolism. Sorry, I don't get it. The music faded in. That was perfect. I once killed a fly with a pencil. Like, you smacked it? That's impressive. The beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like I, you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I... Well, I was... It was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. Did they write so about something similar? I don't recall that. I don't remember what they wrote about. Yuri wrote about a raccoon and bread and feeding the raccoon with and a knife. I don't remember anything about. Didn't Natsuki write about cookies or something? Small Mifa! How's it going, Mifa? Welcome! Doki Doki Friendship Club, yes! 
You stabbed it? That's impressive. Friendship Club indeed. We're making all the friends. So Natsukizi wanted us to write about the same target as each other again. I suppose it'd be better to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know. Maybe that's why I didn't get her symbolism. She didn't really put her heart into it. It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I can agree. If you guys are watching the doggo cam, that's Mama's. She's following the fly in the air. <laughs> she wants to go eat it. Bring in another streamer chat too. Yep. Uh, oh, you were in coppers. I popped over myself. Yo, nice. I appreciate you popping it. Yeah, Mifa's a streamer too. Also, weren't you uh, gonna be starting streaming again soon here again, Mifa? Oh, that's me. Yeah, I think I can agree. Thanks for sharing. Monica! Alright, we need to talk about you popping in on my moment. Hi, Big Papa! Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting much more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just writing what you've been finding inspiration in yours writing style. Oh. That was wrong. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Yeah. Mmm. I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most... romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that- Oh, that's me. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. See? People talk about their passions, they start to glow, and I love seeing that. After I, you move in a couple weeks, nice! Gonna be doing a spooky month a little late, but still fun. Nice! I look forward to seeing that. Any uh, games in particular you're looking forward to playing? Also, hold on a minute. If you guys don't know Small Mifa, she is hilarious. And she does great streams. Go check her out. Go give her a follow. Go give her some love from the vague pupper pile. Her and I have very similar stream styles. Er, stream styles. Stream times. That's the word. But, uh, she was playing some Breath of the Wild and she's done some cool challenge runs. It was pretty sweet. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on that head of hers? I hope- Alright, I hope don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Dang, Monica, I'll open my biz. Eh? Screw you, fly. Do you guys actually see the fly flying across the computer monitor? Or the camera? I'm gonna play Alien Isolation. Nice! Alien Isolation's on my uh, list, but I don't own it yet, but I keep wanting to play it every year. Although, now I got some new USB ports, I could re-hook up the, uh, the VR, and Alien Isolation has a VR mode you can get. Did I get him? No. Damn it! I thought I did. Um, and Alien Isolation VR sounds fun. It doesn't sound fun, but it sounds fun. You, you get me. You get me. I would totally love to watch Majora's Mask. I, uh, I've never beat that one. I never make it far on that one. I always get tired of the time mechanic. But that one is on my list to play at some point. Hey, Wes, what's going on, man? Yeah, I've heard, uh, 
I've heard Alien Isolation is great. I watched a Let's Play of 